What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon opening. We are doing a Patreon opening for our new patron, Alex Rod, which I'm going to refer to as Alex going forward. He picked up three Hidden Fates tins. This is the last month I'm going to be able to offer Hidden Fates tins at $15 a pop, which is a great deal. Um, we all know there's a, there has been a reprint and will should be hitting stores in next month or so, I believe. I think it's like end of September. Oh, so that's like two months still. But um, yeah, basically at this point, you can't really find it for below MSRP or below $20. So, which is probably where I'll be offering it going forward. So if you are looking for that discounted rate, uh, act now before the end of the month, which is only a couple days. But uh, thank you so much for the support, Alex. Let me grab a sleeve for this card. And we'll crack one tin at a time. Gyarados came eh, relatively unscathed. All right, here we go. Tin number one, starting with Mew. Ah, uh, which which reprint wave did these come from? I actually have no idea. But uh, haven't been able to find that all that <laughs> that super sought after shiny Charizard as of I don't know, I feel like the last time was during the Great Ball Ultra Ball. All right, let's see. Ooh, we got Rainbow Birds right off the bat. Very nice. And, hmm, I feel like this is also really well centered. Uh, so, Alex, if you do are interested in getting this graded, let me know. Wow, that is perfect. Uh, definitely going to put you in a... Oh, that's a perfect fit. Here we go. One of these sleeves for now. And, uh, yeah, congratulations. One pack, one awesome pull. <laughs> we just cut it off there. All right, pack number two. I feel like right now there's a lot of hype about the stained glass bird, which is very well deserved. Like that promo is amazing. And yeah, I think the most interesting thing about it is I feel like there was some kind of like appropriate downplaying of the cards. Like, oh, it's a promo. They're just giving away the stained glass bird and which is by far the best art. Uh, but then, lo and behold, huge shortage of ETVs, and now those things are going for quite a bit. Hundreds for PSA 10. I have a number in over at PSA, probably won't get them back for like another six months or something crazy. But alright, one huge pack, one, that was a bit of a dud, let's kind of make a quick recovery. Bill's analysis into a Paris. All right, moving kind of quick. Last pack of our first 10. Alex, thank you so much for the support on Patreon. And uh, yeah, if you haven't checked out the Patreon page, uh, just to see what kind of things we're offering. If you are part of the VIP tier, you can access a lot of good products to be opened on the channel at like, actually I'm starting to do like kind of like cheaper than, you know, the best price I can find through the various vendors. All right, let's see. Um, Champion's Path, so much hype, crazy how the pre-orders are going, if um, you are interested in seeing, trying to pick some up, uh, definitely monitor the subreddit, monitor the Discord, the deals channel, and check some links down below, um, actually those are affiliate links, so if you do use those, those, those do support the channel, so I would appreciate that. Okay, so tin number one, I would say, was a success. We got the Rainbow Birds plus a shiny Vulpix. So no shiny GX, but uh, yeah, I'm happy about that Rainbow Birds. All right, on to the Raichu tin. We'll save Charizard for the last, for the end. Got our four packs right here. Let me sleeve you up. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, huge announcement, guys. If you haven't entered to win a booster box of Darkness Ablaze, uh, we'll announce the winner probably end of next week, just so it's closer to the actual release. But uh, make sure you enter. I'll put a link down below for the video where we where the giveaway is actually happening. Make sure you enter. And reminder that is to celebrate us hitting 1,000 subs here on YouTube. So once again, huge thank you to all the subs and everyone that supports the channel through its many you know various ways to do that whether it's just sub being subscribed 
uh, following or subscribing on Twitch, Patreon, etc. Shout out to everyone on the Discord. All right, so far nothing to nothing from this second tin. If we get something, start getting some good stuff. We had a very nice pack battle against T on Friday. The Raichu tin yields a Raichu GX. Not nothing, but not the hits we're looking for. We got two more packs to make this tin worth it. But um, yeah, so starting Fridays, uh, I'm trying to do regular live openings on Friday so probably do like two or three uh, videos during the week we have our live streams oops didn't get did that incorrectly we have our live streams during the week trying to get a regular schedule Monday Wednesday Friday with Friday being a live opening Monday Wednesday of course being PTCGO if you do play the online game we do a lot of giveaways throughout the stream hmm this this tin is a uh, at risk of being a underperforming tin. Can't have that. All right, let's turn it around. We still got our Charizard tin after this. Misty, Nurse Joy. But uh, ooh, I do want to do a separate video on this. But uh, the next Japanese set was announced as like shiny something. And if that's included in Champion's Path, I'm optimistic. If not, you know, I feel like Champion's Path might be overhyped. Kind of just uh, everyone's excited because of the success of Hidden Fates. But I'm not convinced as this is another Hidden Fates. Again, I want to do a whole video on this topic. Hopefully this week. Alright, tin number three for Alex. Come on, let's find that Charizard. Or at least a Shiny GX. Like, kind of getting... Two hits per tin, which is about what I would expect, but uh, you know, not the none of the big hits that we we're waiting that we we're definitely looking for. One more try. All right, here we go. Four packs remaining. Oh, best of luck, Alex. Here we go. Alright, from the side this one looks good. It's like a thick, uh, kind of like a thick black line down the middle, which sometimes means it might be one of those double whammy packs, kind of like hit your quota all in one go. Can't ask for much more than that. Here we go. Oh, Charmander. Oh, not the right joke again. <laughs> but then we also got a shiny GX and it is the really strong bug, Buzzwall. Um, you know, I feel like the centering is not perfect, but it is pretty good. I'm not an expert of whether that will qualify from 10. I feel like the back looks really strong. Definitely not perfect, but very close. And then the front looks really good as well. Double whammy pack. There we go. Put you in a penny sleeve. And again, Alex, if you do want to send any of these off to PSA, just let me know. Alright, not even enough space on the screen for all the hits. That's why we love opening Hidden Fates. Uh, as excited as I am for Darkness Ablaze, like, whenever, and actually it's been going on for a long time, whether it was, I think, Unified Minds, and then Cosmic Eclipse, Sword and Shield, and so on and so on. It's like, hmm, we keep going back to Hidden Fates, and then we go to another set, it's like, oh man, so, so many just rares are like a hollow why this set is the best reverse energy all right two packs remaining for this break got our shiny GX we got our rainbow card I guess the only boxes left to check would be like a full art supporter or a gold card although definitely I just prefer to hit another shiny GX evolution or of course the Charizard All right, coughing. Electrode is the rare, and then just Brock's gym. Okay, down to the Charizard pack. Here we go. When Alex took him up. All right, for the last pack.
accidentally hit the space bar. I think it stopped the face recording. All right. Slowpoke, a Voltorb, Brox Training, ah, just a Cleave Fairy. So, you know, I would say this was pretty good. Kind of like, um, actually, the second tin was a little bit lackluster, but the first tin had a good hit in the Rainbow Birds. In the second one, we did pick up the Buzzwall, and both look good, like good candidates to be graded. And uh, hit ratio is about what we expected. And um, so, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining us. And thank you, Alex, for all the support. And um, yeah, check out the Patreon page if you're interested in having some Hidden Fates or whatever set broke for you on the channel. Make sure you entered the giveaway. Uh, we'll pick a winner probably end of not this week, but the following week. Uh, so it's just like a week before uh, we can get the prize to the winner. So as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'm Wanted Turtle. I'll catch you guys next time.